Okay, in this video, we I will be discussing example 2 for kinematics in 2 to 3 dimensions. So, in example 2, we are given the trajectory of a certain particle. So, okay. And then, there are five identified points, A, B, C, D, and E. There's another information which says that in each of these cases here, segment B to D is straight. So, ito. This is a straight line. Okay? Assume na lang natin na straight ha, although hindi ganun ka straight ang pagka-sketch ko. Straight ito, and then this is curve, and this is curve ulit. And then this one also is straight. So, the velocity vectors at points A, C, and E are given. The requirement is for us to sketch the acceleration vectors, okay? Acceleration vectors at points A, C, and E. And then there are three cases here. So, for case A, this is the, the kinematics of the motion of particle in A. It's moving at constant speed, okay? Now, again, I hope you have read the book and some lecture notes about acceleration vector we learned earlier hopefully that acceleration is a quantity that tells us how fast or how slow velocity changes so in other words if acceleration were a big number it means that for that particle its velocity changes very very quickly but if the acceleration of a particle is a small number, then the velocity of that particle changes very slowly. If the acceleration of a particle is zero, what is its velocity? Yes, its velocity is not changing. It's either in, it's entirely at rest or it's either moving at a constant speed in a straight line para magsira yung acceleration. Okay. In kinematics with two to three dimensions, we somehow look at this quantity in another perspective and that is to show it with its um, two components. We have the uh, parallel component of A, so we have here A parallel, and another component is the perpendicular component. Okay, when we go to circular motion later, itong si A parallel, bibigyan ng bagong pangalan, magiging A tangential. Ito naman si A perpendicular, we will later call this as A radial. Okay, but in this case, parallel and perpendicular muna. So, if you look at this equation here, it says that A parallel plus A perpendicular, these are the components, and then the vector sum, their vector sum, is the acceleration vector itself. So, the acceleration vector can either have one, two, or three dimensions, but in this case, ang focus muna natin, yung A uh, relative to velocity. What do I mean by that? A parallel, tinatawag siyang A parallel kasi ito yung component ni A na parallel kay velocity vector, either parallel or anti-parallel. Ito namang si A perpendicular, it's given such a name because this is the component of the acceleration vector. Kung baga kung ito yung mother vector, ito yung mga anak, something like that. So, or, kung ito yung owner, ito yung pag-aari niya, yung dalawang component, something like that. So, si A perpendicular is uh, called as such because this is the component of A that makes a 90 degree angle with the instantaneous velocity at any particular time. Okay? Further, concept check. A parallel, every time this is present, this changes the speed of the particle. So, this changes the magnitude of the velocity of a particle. So, this another way of saying this would be A parallel uh, changes the speed. Okay? Speed of the particle, yung bilis. Whereas, A perpendicular, this is responsible in changing the direction of the instantaneous velocity. Okay? So, when we go to dynamics of motion later, second law of motion of Newton is saying that acceleration is an effect and then the cause is a net force, an unbalanced net force. Big sabihin, 
Kung merong A parallel, merong F parallel. So, it's actually the parallel net force that will cause this particle to change its speed. Okay? And pag sinabing A perpendicular, merong nag-cause ng A perpendicular na yan. And that is, merong force na perpendicular sa velocity. Kaya, it's able to change direction. What I'm trying to say is, every time a particle accelerate, that is only possible kung merong net force na hindi zero. Okay? So, si net force ang cause ng pagbabago ng motion, whereas si acceleration, siya mismo yung nagme-measure kung gaano kalaki or kaliit yung pagbabago sa velocity. Okay? Klaro ba? Now, so much for that. Let's answer the, the question now. So, we are to sketch the... Um, velocity uh, acceleration vectors. First, take note that in case A, the particle is moving at constant speed. So, if you look at the drawing of the velocity vectors, I really drew them as much as possible. Pareho sila katas on. Para pag unang tingin mo, alam mo kagad na, ah, okay, it's not speeding up because the length of the velocity vector is constant. Daro ba? Now, since hindi nagbago yung speed, immediately alam mo na wala yung reason. Absent si A parallel. Kasi kung present si A parallel, hindi possible na constant pa rin ang speed. So in that case, sa lahat ng points dito, walang A parallel. Okay? So meaning to say, pag nag-sketch ka ngayon ng components mo, since itong parallel perpendicular, this is relative to velocity. Si velocity vector ang gagawin mong isa sa mga axis. So, kung nakaganito pag-sketch si velocity vector dito, i-extend mo lang, extrapolate mo. Gawin mo siyang isa sa mga x and y axis ngayon. So, eto siya ngayon. And then, this is another. So, take note that this is 90 degrees. Okay? Now, walang a parallel kasi constant speed. So, sasabihin natin dito that uh, A parallel is 0. So, ang idodraw na lang natin ngayon si A perpendicular. Ganito siya. Ito yung path na actual na dinaanan niya, ba? Now, kung walang A perpendicular, kung walang pwersa na papasok dito sa, sa loob ng curvature, it will not be possible for this particle to move along the blue path. Modiretso na siya dito kung asa ang direction sa V. Okay? So, meaning to say, si acceleration vector, it's always drawn towards the curvature. So, it's as if na adiri ang ito siyang curve path na ito, it's actually a part of a whole circle. Wherein, dito yung parang imaginary na center niya. So, kung saan si center, ito ngayon si A perpendicular component. Ito yung reason kung bakit magliko si particle. Kung wala ni, mo straight ni siya glakaw dito. Okay? So, therefore, if you go back to this equation definition here now, zero ito, then si A perpendicular is equal to the acceleration vector itself. So, I will declare here that the A perpendicular is the acceleration vector na buo kasi walang A parallel. And that will be true for all of this here. So, ito ulit. Extrapolate mo siya as one of your axes. And then, mag-estimate ka ngayon ng another line. I-declare mo lang na 90 degrees yan. And then, in this case, um, since straight line ito, tapos constant speed, then sasabihin natin dito, absent si A perpendicular. Kasi walang pagbabago sa direction. At saka, equal din ito sa A parallel. At saka, equal na rin sa buong acceleration vector. So, the instantaneous acceleration dito sa point C is zero. Kasi, constant speed in a straight line. Walang A parallel, walang A perpendicular. Kuha ba? Okay. What about in point E? Baba ko muna konti. So, si point E, okay, extrapolate natin ulit. Yan, 90 degrees yan. Declare ulit natin na walang A parallel kasi constant speed. Dito ang curvature. Okay? So, since merong change in direction, present ito. Kasi kung, kung wala ni, dilit ni siya kaliko. 
And then, you always draw it towards the inside of the curve. This is now A perpendicular. Zero pa rin ito. So, itong A perpendicular, ito na mismo si A natin. Okay? Kuha? Ayan. Now, let's go to... So, in this case... Okay? Nakita natin dito na pag constant speed... Walang A parallel. Si A perpendicular present kung merong curved path na kinakailangan. Pag straight, walang A perpendicular. Okay? Let's go to situation B. Si situation B, this time, si particle is already uh, steady, moving steadily with increasing speed. So, if you check the length of the velocity vectors, the orange arrows, they get longer and longer. Para sa unang inspection, alam mo kaagad, or kung sino mang tumitingin dito, na ito, kinematics ito ng particle na pabilis ng pabilis. Okay? So, ACE. First, again, gawin nating isa sa mga references itong si V. Ayan. Now, kung speeding up, kung merong change in speed, present si A parallel. Kung increasing speed, I mentioned this in earlier videos, that the particle will speed up if it goes towards the same direction with the acceleration. So, si A parallel ngayon, dito siya. Oops. Pwede natin isuperimpose dito. Okay? Walang uh, debale kung ano kahaba, no? So, this is A parallel. And then, ito naman, since merong curve path, A perpendicular is present, dito ka paloob. Si A perpendicular towards the curvature. Let's say this is the center of the path. Pag i-head to tail mo, si A perpendicular, tsaka si A parallel, ito ngayon si mother vector A. Okay? So, this is now the acceleration vector at A. With the components A, pa, A perpendicular and A parallel. Doon tayo kay C. Extrapolate. Extend this as if it's one axis. That's 90 degrees. Speeding up ito. So, si A ulit. Parallel siya. Si A parallel. Parallel kay V. Pero, since straight line ito, si A perpendicular, zero. So, in this case, si A parallel equal to the whole acceleration vector itself. Kasi si A perpendicular ang wala. Pagdating dito, okay, extend ulit natin ang, la ang V kasi siya ang reference. Yan. And then, mag-shout out ka na 90 degrees yan. So, A parallel is somewhere here. A perpendicular present kasi curve path into the curve. That's A perpendicular. Pag head to tail nitong dalawa ngayon, ito si acceleration vector. Siya yung may-ari ng A per per perpendicular. Ayan. At saka A parallel. Okay? So, in this case, talagang mag-speed up si particle kasi meron siyang A parallel in the same direction with the velocity. Nag-change direction siya because merong A perpendicular. At this particular point, kung walang A perpendicular, di rin siya mo diretsyo. Mga Pero kay meron mang pwersa na nag-pull sa kanya dito, kaya niliko siya. Okay? Okay. And then part C, we have um, the same path, the same sketch, but this time, the particle is said to be steadily uh, moving with steadily decreasing speed. So, nagahinay-gahinay siya. Okay? So, uh, by inspection, the velocity vectors here get shorter and shorter. Okay? First step, before sketching this, gawa ka ngayon ng Cartesian plane mo with a velocity vector as one of your axis. Ayan. So, 90 degrees. Uh, the particle will speed, will will slow down if A parallel is opposite direct, A, towards opposite direction of the velocity vector. So, instead of going there, we sketch it here. 
kahit anong kahaba lang. And this is the parallel component of A. Ang path natin dito pa curve. So, galing, galing siya dyan. Muli ko siya papuntang northeast. So, meron dapat force na papunta dito. And that perpendicular force results to this perpendicular acceleration. So, pag i-head to tail natin to, i-connect natin dito yung reflection ni A parallel. This is the reflection of A parallel. And then, ito ngayon si, ito, si acceleration vector natin dito is somewhere in the fourth quadrant. Okay? The same process for C. So, after sketching the V, gawin mo siyang isang axis and then mag-estimate ka ulit ng perpendicular dyan na line. Opposite si A parallel. Okay? Now, this is a straight segment. So, present ba si A perpendicular? Kung walang pagbabago sa direction ni V from B to D? Correct. So, at this particular point, walang A perpendicular. Zero. So, si A parallel, siya na rin mismo yung equivalent sa buong acceleration kasi ito zero. Okay? And then finally, dito kay point E, extrapolate, extend, and then meron pa rin tayong A parallel dito. Meron ka ng curve path, kay mo maniniliko man towards northwest ang particle mo. So, that will only be possible if there is A perpendicular going towards the curve to the left. I-head to tail natin to. This is the reflection of A parallel here. Then this is now the acceleration, the owner of the two components. Okay? Again, please practice how to sketch acceleration uh, parallel and perpendicular components. Okay? Um, before I forget, if you know the parallel and perpendicular components and you want to determine A, um, you can still use Pythagorean theorem to get the magnitude of this. Okay? Okay, that's it.